Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bal Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa paid a visit to His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa at his residence in the Federal Republic of Germany, where His Royal Highness is spending a private visit to the country. During the visit, His Majesty the King has been reassured of His, his Royal Highness's good health condition and congratulated him on his full recovery, wishing him a safe return home. For his part, His Royal Highness extended his sincere thanks and great appreciation to His Majesty's visit and his sincere and heartfelt feelings, which His Royal Highness said have had a very positive impact on him. His Royal Highness wished His Majesty the King continued good health and happiness, as well as the Kingdom of Bahrain and its loyal people for their steady prosperity and progress under His Majesty's wise leadership. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation for the valuable efforts exerted by Sheikh Khalid during his service in the ministry and his laudable endeavors in light of the remarkable development in the region that requires strengthening Bahrain's diplomatic relations. His Majesty also thanked the minister for overseeing the fulfillment of Bahraini diplomats' potentials to represent Bahrain according to the highest standards wishing him success. The minister expressed pride and honor in serving His Majesty the King and affirmed his gratitude for His Majesty's support to Bahraini diplomacy. He stressed that His Majesty's directives enabled Bahraini diplomacy to become a model for defending the kingdom's interest abroad and strengthening its regional and international position. Sheikh Khalid wished His Majesty the King good health and well-being to continue leading Bahrain towards further progress, reforms and prosperity. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, crowned the winners of His Highness's Cup for Falconry competitions as part of the sixth edition of the Nasser bin Hamad Tournament for Falconry and Hunting. His Highness Sheikh Khalid said that this sport represents an important part of Bahraini identity and culture and said that Bahrain has taken giant leaps in traditional sports thanks Thanks to the efforts of His Majesty the King's representative for charity work in youth affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid said that His Highness Sheikh Nasser is keen on implementing the vision and directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa as His Majesty is keen on patronizing traditional sports and culture. His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated the winners across all categories and wished the contestants further their success.
The Representatives Council Bureau held a meeting chaired by the Council Speaker Fawzia bint Abdullah Zainal. The Bureau affirmed the keenness on bolstering cooperation with the Executive Authority and increasing coordination between the two authorities to serve the country and its people and make further achievements in light of the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Bureau hailed the approach of the joint meetings and the effective work mechanism between the Legislative and Executive Authorities, which the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. It noted the importance of keeping pace with the regional developments and the necessity to enhance solidarity, exert further efforts and maintain civil peace. The Bureau reviewed a number of ministerial responses on parliamentary questions and parliamentary committees reports on draft laws and proposals. The Shura Council saluted the National Guard on the 23rd anniversary of its establishment. It hailed its achievements and successes in maintaining national security and stability led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. It lauded the pivotal role of the National Guard which represents a cornerstone and a source of pride for protecting the nation's achievements. It paid tribute to National Guard Chief General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa hailing landmark strides in terms of military and security equipment, high qualified human resources and dedication in protecting Bahrain's achievements, security and sovereignty. It stressed the honorable achievers under the National Guard's five-year strategy 2020 with the support of His Majesty the King. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, patronized the 27th Contemporary Zakat Issues Symposium organized by the Justice Ministry Zakat and Charity Fund in cooperation with Kuwait's Zakat House and in the presence of scholars and specialists from across the Islamic world. The Minister delivered a speech in which he praised His Majesty the King's care for this topic and hailed the Kingdom's efforts to host such symposium. The Minister asserted that the Zakat and Charity Fund always welcomes cooperation with Zakat departments in the GCC countries, praising the awareness raising and charitable role played by the Zakat House in Kuwait, as well as its effective contributions to achieving social solidarity and compassion. He expressed thanks and appreciation to Kuwait's leaders and people. He pointed out that the 27th Contemporary Zakat Issues Symposium aims to encourage scientific and sharia research contribute to preparing a new generation of specialized researchers in which the Islamic library with more books and researchers on zakat issues and extending bridges of cooperation with financial institutions and zakat funds. Director General of Kuwait's Zakat House Mohammed Atebi delivered a speech in which he conveyed the greetings of the Emir of Kuwait and the people of Kuwait and praised Bahrain's hosting of this event. Head of the General Secretariat of the Contemporary Zakat Issues Dr. Khalid Atebi also delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments for patronizing the event, wishing Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity. After, the first, uh, after that, the first day sessions of the event started discussing topics of some of the problems of Zakat Insurance Company and discussing the research presented on the developments in banks regarding Zakat. This meeting uh, or conference held uh, to uh, discuss a very important uh, issue uh, regarding to the uh, third column of Islam, which is Zakat. And especially this conference uh, talking about three items, which is very important. The first of, uh, first of this item, talking about the uh, Islamic deposit, which is uh, facing our, uh, in Islamic uh, finance facing a very uh, diplomatic uh, issue how to calculate the zakat. The second issue uh, talking about the uh, reinsurance and insurance company, how to calculate the, the zakat also, it's very important how to uh, manage uh, the zakat uh, based on the regulatory and the uh, Islamic uh, finance. And the third which is talking about the uh, distribution of the zakat. Also, the, there is a many practical uh, issue facing this uh, industry. 
the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Assam Khalaf launched the development schemes following directives from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The projects aim to upgrade municipal services for citizens and contribute to achieving the goals of Bahrain's development as led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The minister paid an inspection visit to Senate and was accompanied by Council Representative Ali Mohammed Ishaqi to assess citizens' needs. The projects include road resurfacing in the area, while other projects include installing pedestrian sidewalks, rainwater drainage, traffic lights and signs, all of which are expected to cost 500,000 Bahraini dinars. The minister inspected the Senate Garden as well.